Good evening, my dear students. My name is Joshua Ado once again. And this lecture, this video lecture, is a follow up lecture on the first lecture on first normal form. In the first lecture, we concluded everything on first normal form principles. This video lecture is going to conclude from second normal form principles up to third normal form and then we will be done with normalization. Before we begin with this evening's lecture, let's try to remind ourselves of the kind of things we learned in the first lecture, which concentrated on the first normal form principles. We say that in relational database management, the way we create our tables is the most important thing and that is the main difference between relational database and flat file databases. The main advantage of relational database is the way tables are designed and we say that the basic thing is that in relational database management we try to create a table for every single subject that we deem fit to keep data on. In flat file data management system, they, we don't really care about that and the practice is that we can lump a lot of information inside one table. So one table, a single table can keep information on multiple subject matters. And we have already understood the consequences of that way of keeping data. What we specifically learned in our first video on first normal form is that when you are designing your tables, first of all, every table should keep data on a single subject matter. And every table, inside every table, you should have one column that acts to uniquely identify the records in the table. That is the idea of primary key. Apart from the concept of the primary key, we also said that your table design should not have repeating columns. Repeating columns means that you have the same concept you are keeping data on, but you are keeping them in multiple columns. It makes your data redundant. It doesn't make any sense. It wastes your space. And we learned about how to resolve that problem of repeating columns. Akin to repeating columns is what can be referred to as repeating values. Some people try to have a smart way around dodging repeating columns by keeping one column and keeping, and, and, and keeping multiple values under that one column. For example, instead of storing phone 1, phone 2, phone 3 as column headings, they might say phone and then for one particular person, they will keep multiple phone numbers separated by columns or maybe semicolon, semicolons. These are all not good. We said that the values you keep under each column should be atomic. So there should be no repeating values. There should be no multiple values under one column. There should be no repeating columns as well. And we learned how to resolve the issues of repeating columns and repeating values. So you can go back to le lecture one if you have to actually fill some gaps. With that understood, let's come to today's lecture on second normal four. I spoke a bit about what goes inside second normal form in our first normal form lecture. And, uh, and let me remind you, because that's what we're going to, to, to build on. The core principle of relational database design is that each table, each single table, should be dedicated 
to a single subject matter. So if you have a table that is not confining itself to a single subject matter, then that is violating normalization principle and specifically that is a second normal form violation. I will explain further. So that's the idea you have to have at the back of your mind as we go through the lecture on second normal form. Let me read part of the note as you have it. A table is in second normal form if, first of all, that table is in first normal form because it's procedural. From one step, then we build on that to the next step, and then we build on that. So second normal form is not done in isolation of first normal form. You must already be in first normal form, which we have done. So we assume that everybody can be in first normal form, right? And then what actually goes inside second normal form is the second thing. All the non-key columns or attributes or fields are dependent on the primary key. And this is the idea of making a table store data on a single subject. This is what it means. In relational database tables, a table is identified by its primary key. In other words, what a table represents, what a table is meant to do, the data that a table is meant to store can be seen, can be understood from its primary key. So if you have a table whose primary key is student, which means student ID, the idea is that that table is meant to store student-specific data. That is why the primary key is called student. And if that is the case, second normal form is saying that if we know what the table represents through the primary key, that the table represents students, or it is meant to store student-specific data, then, apart from the primary key, all the other things we keep about the student inside the table, she will specifically describe the student. She will not bring in other matters that are not specific to students. That is the meaning of all the non-key columns, attributes, or fields are dependent on the primary key. In other words, all of the other attributes are determined by the primary key. Still, in other words, all the non-key attributes, columns, or fields depend on the primary key or describe the primary key. The primary key. Let me give you. Let me try to explain it in in a more commonsensical way. We know that in the world we have many things. We have a human being, we have cars, we have buildings, we have so many things. Each one of these things I've mentioned have their particular characteristics. So if you are asked, for example, to build a car by describing what constitutes a car, you have to exactly talk about things that go inside a car. If you bring things about human beings, that is not describing a car. And that you are not building a car. If you bring in things about phone, you are not building a car. You are not describing a car. That is exactly the concept we are explaining here. So if you say that a table whose primary key is called student and therefore it is a table meant to store student specific data 
then every column every attribute about that table should describe specifically a student and not other things that are not specifically specifically students so if you link this with a scenario I was trying to create to explain think about it this way you are asked to create a car by description and then you begin to say okay this is the car wheels brake system bonnet windscreen all of these things are perfect description of a car and wait a minute you just added hair h a i r hair we don't see hair on cars do we or you say legs we don't have legs for cars they have wheels they don't have legs or you say head cars don't have heads do they so with this scenario what you are actually doing is that you are mixing a description of a car with the description of a human being and this is two subject matters not a single subject matter and that is a violation and more specifically second normal form violation so second normal form principles tries to force us force us into making sure that our tables are dedicated to storing data on a single subject so this is the whole idea of second normal form if you have a table created with some columns or attributes to be sure that all the columns or the attributes of the table are describing the subject matter of the table you need to ask yourself some question You need to ask yourself that the columns that I have inside my table, the attributes that I have inside my table, do they specifically describe the subject matter that the table is meant to store data on? If you say yes, then it means that all the attributes belong to that table and they are helping in describing a single subject matter if you say no because at least one of the attributes or columns is describing something else now connect your mind back to the scenario I gave someone trying to create a car by description and he said head or let's say he said hair h a i r cars don't have hair so you see that you have an alien attribute and that will violate the principle that the table is meant to store data on a single subject so any attribute which is not describing the car but something else is to be taken away so that the table describes a car in our case we are using a school database to explain all the concepts we are trying to learn so if you look at table 7 table 7 helps us uh, explain the idea of second normal form principles if you look at table 7 
we know what a table is meant to do the data the table is meant to store from the primary key of the table student so this table is meant to store data on students and therefore the data should be student specific now let's see the other attributes the non key attributes that we have uh, first name, which is the first name of the students, surname of the students, these are specific to the student, no problem. But we have resident, sorry, residence. And then we have program. We have to understand that residence could be another block of data that we can be kept differing from the student. And therefore, if we keep the residence data and the program data with the student's information, it's just like in an attempt to describe a car, you added hair. And we know hair is not so specific to car. Or legs is not really a description of cars. Residence the description of residence not students program is a description of program and not students per se so when you see a table design like in flat file data management this is normally what you will see and you can find many of these situations in our offices because maybe the Data keepers lack the idea of relational database or they just are lazy and they want to get things done quickly. So they try to lump multiple data inside one table. So you see, this is what you will normally find, but we are learning that these are not the best way of keeping data because it will cause you problems when you are managing the data afterwards. So all these attributes or columns that are not describing what the primary key is standing for. The primary key is standing for student. So the columns that we add to the table should describe a student and nothing else. It means all the other columns that do not specifically describe the student should be moved out and then formed into their own tables as reasonable as possible. So we are going to move these two columns called residence and program into their own tables and then we add attributes that describe residence and program and then we can later link these tables to the student table if we think they have a relationship. In the first place, the designer thought they have a relationship. That is why he was forced to put them together. But relational database engines are flexible that if we decouple the information into separate subjects, we can always link them together for communication purposes. So for explanatory purposes, that data you saw, the, the, the table you saw, table number seven, is not storing data on a single subject matter because at least you will find out that the data, the table is storing data on students so that the table is storing student specific data number one it is also storing data on students residence which is a different subject matter it is again storing data on programs of study by the student which is a different subject matter so at least is is that, that table is seven three purposes which is a huge violation when it comes to relational database design each table should store information on one subject matter. And I have already hinted you on how the resolution should be like, how we resolve the issue. All the attributes in the table that are not describing or that are not supporting the primary key in describing a single subject matter should be moved 
and formed into their own tables with attributes describing what that table represents. So as a way of resolving what you see here, let me bring my notepad here so we, I can demonstrate. 